Uh, defensively, like pretty much, we got um, a lot of depth and a lot of places on defense. So camp was really just gelling together and practicing, just running to the ball, and making sure you get all your energy because you know you got the same people in your position room uh, excelling at the level that you excel in. So as long as they stay all together and just grow together, we'll be certain uh, this season. Coming. Uh, I think for the O-line, uh, a big thing is, like Coach Chavo was saying, is just like finding the right group of guys uh, who you know are going to go out there and compete consistently. Um, I think right now we're still finding those guys and we're still working on that team chemistry. Uh, we got a lot of new guys, a couple new guys that uh, I think are going to make an immediate impact. So it's just uh, a matter of like bringing those guys along and getting them caught up with everything. But I think we'll be ready for the season. At this point, oh, the O-line, um Talking about the consistency, what what are you looking for? Is it just a, a matter of guys just getting used to playing with each other up there? Yeah, yeah, I would say it's more uh, chemistry over consistency, really. Like, it's just a, a lot of new pieces that weren't necessarily involved in the puzzle last season. So now we're just trying to figure out, like, how to fit everything together. But what is it about Coach Durkin that makes that – that gel with the offensive line and the communication and how clear he is with everything? Like, what makes you have the confidence in him to be able to gel that group together? Um, so I've played for a couple of different O-line coaches. Coach Dirk is my fourth O-line coach. And I think, like, he's just so smart. Like, he knows his craft so well, and it's so evident. And uh, because of that, I think a lot of guys, like, believe in him and have confidence in him and what he coaches. So, yeah. Joseph, throughout camp, who are some guys that whenever you're practicing, you know, you look across and you see them, uh, you're building chemistry with them. Some of the new guys uh, on defense you're building chemistry with, you feel yourself playing pretty well with. Who are those guys? Uh, <clears throat> or at least linebacker, we got Jolly, but I played him last year. But we also got four new pieces that came from different schools. So I've been able to play different peers and practice with each one of them. And I feel like all the communication with all of them is all at a high level. And it's just at this point, we're going to keep on to the ball. And, and we all gonna have chances on the season. So, and then D-line, um, D-line probably we have the most people from last year. For the D-line, that's pretty much that know they're doing, that can communicate, take um, take what we tell them well. And for, for the DBs, it's not too many new people, but we have a few uh, new pieces that came as transfers, and they just learned the defense. And I feel like most of them has really excelled in learning the defense so far. And we pretty much come to our stand of installing. So now it's just can you execute without having to keep being retalk the stuff that we already talked. Yeah, Joseph, doing pretty well. Sorry, Joseph, looking in your room specifically, you mentioned some of the new guys. I mean, you got Vaughn from uh, Wisconsin. You got Chris coming from Vanderbilt. You got Jackson coming from East Carolina. A lot of different places. What does it look like getting these guys to buy into what you guys are about and all come together for, for this cause? Um, pretty much all spring, like not it didn't start in fall camp, started in January when most of them got here. We got one, I think, in the summer, but we pretty much then we got to buy in, we got to uh, insist on each other, and it's not about like we see our shepherd told us the other day, it's not about the pieces, but it's about the glue. So we all locked in, and we're going to see each other get better so that the whole unit can get better and we can be the best unit in the nation. So I feel like we're going to do pretty uh, great, and everybody just ready to see each other. There might be. Is there an issue with the mic? Yeah, I have an issue with this. Right here. Just try to do a share mic. Yeah, so, just try to talk a little louder. No problem. Joe, uh, the, the coaches have Coach talked Josh. a lot about um, just the increased competition and depth at linebacker. Have you seen that uh, throughout camp, and how much uh, different is that compared to last year? Um, I've seen the 100% throughout camp every day. It's a new group going. We gelling with each other, different pieces playing with different pieces, and we're just seeing how we can all play with each other because you, uh, you don't really know the future. You don't know what's going to happen during the season. So we all just competing with ourselves but competing with each other to make sure that we all elevate so we all are just ready to go. Whoever name be called, no bad feelings, nothing like that. We're just ready to go. How difficult is that as a competitor to – Except that you're gonna maybe play a little bit less snaps, but it's going to overall be more beneficial for the the team, right? That's not easy pill for anyone to swallow that has a competitive edge. I mean, most people, uh, most people do think like it's a bad thing, and but for me personally, and for the whole group, we just put our trust in God. We don't really know the plan, but we just know like giving like our actions is giving things to God. So no matter get two snaps, twenty snaps, whatever we whatever we get, we're just gonna go all out and just say thank you.
Xavier, how difficult is it for an offensive lineman coming in, just speaking for some of these guys that are that are new to this, coming in trying to pick this offense up, particularly on some of those those run plays to the outside, and this guy's got to go here, and it, just fitting those pieces like mm -hmm. you were talking about earlier? Um, honestly, I really don't think it's too complicated at all. Um, it's nice that between me and Jay White, like, we got – he can kind of help the left side of the line and I can kind of help the right side of the line. So like if there's ever like any situations that like someone might not know that like, we just communicate it right there, we'll figure it out. And that's a big part of the chemistry too, is just like trust in the guy next to you. Um, so yeah, I mean like we got in a, a situation like that yesterday and I wasn't sure of the call and my, my guard, Harry, he made the call and I was like, all right, bet, like let's do it. And it was just a, uh, worked out perfectly. But yeah, um, I really don't think it's too hard pulling everyone along. Like, it's nice when you have the experience and like you know the offense so well at this point. Like it's easy, it's easier for me to understand, so it's easier to help other people understand. Yeah, going off that, do you feel like an added responsibility to be a leader on the line, now? especially with X gone? <laughs> yeah, truthfully, yeah. Um, and I was expecting some of it, but it is a lot of pressure at the same time because um, I feel like they want me to fill, you know, X Gatlin's shoes. And I'm not as much of a vocal guy as him, so I try to lead in other ways. Uh, but with that being said, like I know I need to be more vocal, so I've been trying to be more vocal. But um, yeah, at the end of the day, I just lead the way I can, lead the best way I can, and hope for the best. Xavier, last year, same time, Brent Schlittler, four-year starter, goes out. He's hurt. Mm -hmm. Any similarities you draw from building chemistry a year ago and the success you had in building chemistry with some new guys here this year? I think some of the events specifically with Taj last year was a big thing in terms of, of building that chemistry. Mm -hmm. um, but it's getting there right now. It's just new pieces right now. So it's just more like we got to get together more outside of football, which we have been a lot. But um, just spending like time with each other away from the facility is huge. You know, getting to actually like personally know each other outside of football is big. So. Xavier, Jamie Chadwell and Willie Korn both mentioned that they like it when it gets when it gets close enough to where you're getting a little much in the extracurriculars oh, as yeah. far as oh, sparring yeah. on the offensive and defensive lines in mm -hmm. particular. How much do you use that as a, a guide to figure out where your fellow offensive linemen are in terms of what they need to do the job in the game and e equally on the defensive side of the ball? Um, it's honestly good to see, especially for, I think, some of the freshmen. Um, just because, like, it just shows me they got that dog in them, honestly. Because some of the guys, like, they don't, they, don't, they don't bring it out all the time. You know, like, it'll take something for them to, like, click and, like, get mad. But it's good to see that they got it in them. So it's, uh, it gives me hope, for sure. Who have you seen that has a dog in them so far? <laughs> yeah, um, like dog. Honestly, like, a lot of guys. <laughs> um, both of the most recent transfers, uh, DJ and uh, Jordan, they both got the dog in them for sure. Um, my man Blake, he got the dog in him. Like I wasn't sure at first, and then I seen him snap, and I said, "Okay, like I needed to see that. Like that was good." Um, but yeah, I mean, honestly, I think we all got that dog in us, and uh, yeah, I'm excited for the season. For Question sure. for you, Joseph, uh, Coach Lineham was asked about leaders defensively, and you're one of the first ones that he mentioned the guys are looking up to. Your trajectory where you came last year and to now, being a natural leader vocal, does that come natural to you? Uh, no, nah, I wouldn't say it wouldn't come natural, but it's kind of the same stuff I've been told and like trying to be taught like my entire life. So like, I understand and I understand what I need to be and where I'm going. So. I, I'm still going and getting better at it, but I wouldn't say it come natural at first. Usually I'm just quiet, just do my job, do what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. But I, I, I stepped up a little bit more, and I'm going to just keep going.